For years, the Rocky Mountain Chapter of the Armed Forces Communications and Electronics Association, a nonprofit known as AFSIA, they've been furthering STEM education in our area. Every year, they give out hundreds of thousands of dollars for a variety of projects and partnerships, specifically for this story, robotics kits for local students. This week, they're hosting their annual cyberspace symposium. News 5's John McMichael has the story. The start of the annual cyberspace symposium can only be described as a maelstrom of gears and cogs. It's very loud, there's like gears whirring, robots smashing into each other. Three, two, one, go! But it's also one of the coolest experiences that we've had where it just brings in a bunch of robotics passion-filled people from quite literally across the nation. This signature robotics event saw teams from eight states and Canada. We got 10 seconds left. Including, important for this story, 20 teams from the Springs who've long been at work. I think we started building ours in about September-ish, I think. Coding and constructing disc-throwing robots. And we stay after school at least two days a week. From scratch. You build your chassis and you build everything else. And slowly you have a robot, you have a robot that you've built throughout the entire year. In the words of Harry Knight, the STEM coordinator for Fountain Fort Carson High School, the team we're interviewing. It shows them that learning can be fun. This gives them an opportunity to see, hey, when I'm learning about a function or I'm learning about how things should work, now they get an opportunity to put that together and then see it. It's, it's hands-on learning. Hands-on learning made possible through FCA. So we want to make sure that every child has the opportunity to see a future to be anything they want to be. Just last year, the nonprofit pumped more than $450,000 into local STEM programs. That's what's so important, right? Including partnering with Pikes Peak Robotics to distribute robotics kits and host this event. You'll see the passion when uh, when you're looking at this competition, watching how serious they are about making these robotics work, how excited they are when they do work. And for them to have success and to feel good about it, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud. But when it comes right down to it, losing or winning in this matter doesn't even matter at this point. According to these students, the most important factor at play here is growth. The fact is that you had fun, you know what you're doing, you're competitive, you know what you need to do for the next time you do it, and just have a great time with everyone. Good match. Well done. It really helps with your creativity. It really allows people to just be so creative with whatever, with whatever they want to do. They're able to just use all of like their STEM capabilities and just work as a team. And that's the key. In Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5.